What? I'm so needed to ride to the airport. I was like, I'll do it. And then I was like, I'm sorry, I can't. <laughs> no, you know, they both, Zaki and learned their shares in Yiddish. Really? Both they like that? That's kind of funny for Aaron, especially. He's 40, right? Yeah. No, I, I know. I guess they got used to it. Is it on you? Okay? I was staying in New York earlier in uh, Riverdale. And yeah. I was going to uh, Prager's, which is it's like a doing the construction. It's like a brisk thing. Yeah, there's a million like brisk satellites now. Yeah, yeah, I go this. There, it's for Tashmore, the kid we're sitting with. Tashmore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's sheer stuff. It's sheer stuff place. So me and your shine. There's a store. Who's that? Host is not in the meeting. Okay. You know, it's really so off. What? That's so off. Oh, there's Annie. Hey, doctor. Hello. What's that? We are on Lama Dollar, 34. Yup. Uman Hai Tana. Who is the Tana? The Isle, Isser Kolo, the Isser Moisef. We learned yesterday that all sorts of principles that um, Mr. Colo. No, we said that if two men marry two women with Kiddushin and then the women got switched and they happened to be married to two sisters. So and, and brothers, excuse me. So it's Eshesach and Achosisha. And they were Nidos. So they're Chayev for Eshesish. They're Chayev because Eshesach. They're Chayev for uh, you know, Achosisha. And they were Nidos. So you're, they're Chayev for. So the men and women are each Chayev, each couple. Right, so the chai of 16 chatos is what the uh, Mishnah said. Shesh Yisrael chatos, the kol echad arba, there are four people, two men, two women. Each one a chai of four. So, so the chai of 16. However, this Tana has to hold of the principle of Yisrael Kolel, Yisrael Mosif, and it's surim that happened at this at exactly the same time. Let's read Rashi. The Masnisan the Isle Isr Khalalisr. Our Mishnah that says your chai each person's chai four obviously holds that there is Isr Khalalisr. Bain al Yad Kolel, whether or not it's the Isr Kola, which we described involves more people. Bain Isr Mosif, 
versus an Isser Mosif, which the Rashi will explain, and Bein Ali De Basachas, and when they happen simultaneously, and Rashi says like this, these four that we described, they're high for Eshesish, Achosisha, Eshesach, and Nida. So it's like this. Keshekidesh Ruvain Ach Rochel Trilam. First thing that happens, Ruvain gives Kidushin to Rochel. So, and Shimon is Ruvain's brother. Nesral Shimon Mishim Eshesach. At that moment, Rochel is his brother's wife, and she's an Eshesish. Hainu Basachas, and those two Isurim happen exactly at the same time. The moment he married her, the woman becomes Osra as a Nesha Sach and a Nesha Sish. Our Tana that says they're Chai of four obviously is holding that they're Chai for these two. Then, Chazer Shimon Vikidish Leah. Shimon gives Kidushin to Rachel's sister Leah. So now the other brothers are usher in these two sisters, all the other sisters, because of Achosisha. And excuse me, he, Shimon is usher to Rachel and Leah's other sisters because of Achel, because of the new usher for him. So therefore, since that Isra was added to Shimon, Asri Leinami Be'eshes Ochi Mishum Akosisha. So Reuven's wife becomes Asri to him as well as Akosisha because it's now Leah's sister. Va'afa gavda Asra Le Be'kaima Va'ainu Isra Kolel Be'adayin Rochel Zumutes Reuven Baila Rochel is mutter to her husband Ruvain, but Pierce Nida, but she becomes a Nida. So Migudi Tosef Isra Alola Gabi Bailamishum Nida. This is the Isra Moisif, because now there's an additional Isra on her husband because of Nida, Itosef Bonami Isra Lagabi Shimon. It adds it to Shimon as well, Ari Isra Moisif. So that our Tana, the mission we learned in order. To add up that each person would be chay for chatos has to hold of a combination of isr kolal, isr moisiv, and isr basach. So who is that Tana? Amri and Amarav Rab Meir here. The Tana. Yesh ochel achila achas v'chayav ale arba chatos v'ashem echad. He's going to describe you eat a kazayas of one thing and you're chay for chatos in one asham. Tomei Person who's tame, she'ochal chelev. If you eat chelev, you get kares. But if you do it b'shogeg, you bring a chatas. V'hu noiser min mukdashim, a korban shlami or any korban. You can only eat for twenty four hours. Beyond twenty four hours, it's noiser. If you eat a kazayis of noiser, you get kares. If you do it b'shogeg, you bring a chatas. A tame who eats hegdish also gets kares. So, we're, so, so far we have three. Tomei she'achal chelev v'hu noiser min mikdashim. And comes the fourth, by Yom HaKippur. You're not allowed to eat on Yom Kippur. If you eat, you get kores. You do it b'shoikeg, you bring a chatas. Now, you also, you, you had a no from kodshim. So, you chayv me'ila. That's the osham. So, you chayv arba chatos v'ashem and Rab Meir throws in a, a, a gimme. Rab Meir Oimerim, Haisa Shabbos, Votzio Bafif, if he was eating it and he walked with it in his mouth and he carried it, you're chive another one. But that requires a different action. That means the other ones happen at the same time by swallowing it. It's one action that gives you everything. By the way, Rashi points out, You don't get kores for carrying on Yom Kippur. 
This whole sugi is learning creases. Let's evaluate this regarding Isra Kol and Isra Moiseh. When this animal was created at its chulen, Nesra Chelba Bachilo Muterbano. So any animals, it's Chelav is Osir, but you're allowed to benefit from it. Hubdisha, once a person was Magdish the animal, so normally you can't eat chalev, but you can benefit from chalev. But now that it's kotshim, the chalev itself has an isr moisif on it because you've added to its isr. So therefore, because the way the isr moisif works, because you had you added an isr to chalev, it also benami isr achila mishum zarus. So there's also an Israchila as a non koyen The Afagav, the Osir v'koy b'achila, havale noiser, migudi toys of Israel le mizvech mishum noiser, he toys of nami le koyen mishum noiser. Even if a koyen eats it, a koyen can't eat noiser. Harianich trey mishum Israel moisif. Nitma, he became tame. Zeshad arach shavaya muter bechatichos psar kodesh. He could eat regular holy food, Vashav Nasr Ben, Migu de Mitzur, Bishar Khatikos, Bishum Tuma, Nasr Nami Bishum Bishum Tuma. I know Isr Koila. Nasr never to Nasr Moise of Isr Koila. Avala Yom Kippurim. Migu de Mitzur Bechulan, you can't eat even Chulan Yom Kippur. Osr Nami Bekotchim Bishum Yom Kippurim. Vahainu Nami Isr Koila. Umin Chayev Le Rabneir, Mishum Otsa Shabbos, on the Isle Isr Batsachas Chayel. So back to the Gemara. It's different. It's not the same action. Now, Rameh Ali Bedaman. He Ali Bed Rabbi Yeshua. Ta Bed Var Mitzvah Potter. According to Rabbi Yeshua, if you think you're doing a mitzvah and you ended up doing an Aver, you're not Chai B'chatas. So here he thought he was doing a mitzvah. So it can't be that he holds like Rabbi Yoshua. El Ali bin Rabbi Yezri, who holds that Ta Bidvar Mitzvah, you're also Chayiv. The Gemara says, he boys him, if you want, we can learn that Rabbi Meir holds loyal Ali bin Rabbi Yoshua. He come Rabbi Yoshua, Ta Bidvar Mitzvah, Potter. When does he say that if you make you make a mistake doing a mitzvah, you're Potter? Hani Mili Gabi Tinoikis. This is the case of two babies. And the Moya was supposed to do Mila. And he mauled on Shabbos a baby who was only seven days old. He was not on to do Mila on Shabbos, he has to be eight days old. But he made a mistake. So there was no Q Mitzvah Mila. And he should have been Chayav Mishum Malacha because he, he, he made a wound on Shabbos. So there, Rabbi Yoshua pottered for a reason because Dismano Bohu. Mila, it's got to be done on the eighth day, only on that day. So people are confused. Their, their uh, time is of the essence. So because he was bold, he made a mistake because he thought that it was its time on Shabbos. That's when Rabbi Yeshua potters. But here by the Kochim, we see his, his man is not bold, and then he would not chayiv. He would make you chayiv. Afraid to Gemara, love, I read truma, the ain't man a bold, the kapotter. I'll show you a case of truma that the time is not uh, pressing, and yet Rabbi Yeshua potter is this not. Hayoichel be truma. A coin is allowed to eat truma. But while he's eating truma, noideshu ben grusha ben chlutza. Somebody arrives and informs him that his mother was a grusha, which makes him os kohen, who would not be allowed to eat truma. Now, Rabbi Yezer Machayev Karen Vachoymesh, because he holds Ta Bidvar Mitzvah Chayev, Rabbi Yeshua Pointer, even though this man is not boil. Hayit Marlon Rabbi Bibi Barabai, Hachabit Truma Bar Pesach, Haskin and this man above. No. 
This is also a factor of Zmano Bo because it's Erev Pesach, where everybody is trying to eat quickly, that it shouldn't, Chometz Truma shouldn't, shouldn't uh, be remain. The boy same, if you want, we can learn a completely different direction. That our Mishnah is not dealing with the Tana who holds of a combination of Isra Koilal or Isra Moisiv. Rather, it, there, it, our Tana involves the Tana be Isra Basachas. That, it, that it's only when you do malachas all at the same time, Alibid Rab Shimon, that only Rab Shimon holds that if you do things at the same time, you're chayv multiple chatos. So bishma kula mishkachas lehu. So this can work in the case of the women and the men being mixing up their wives. Yishavinu shaliach. The man made a shaliach kiddush, and the shavu inu shaliach, and the women made a shaliach kabola. Upoga shaliach b'shaliach, and the shaliach met the other shaliach. So every, the kiddush, the kiddush happened exactly at the same time. So all the isurim happened at the same time. But the question is, how do they become a need at the same time? El nido sechim mishkachas lo. Amrav Amrav Amrav. These were women who from the the they from the from day one, day when they were 12, and one day until they were 13, they were menstruating blood. Up until the time that they reached Bagus. Because Kiddush is not Chal until the Bogeres. Once the, they were both Ketanim and they both, the, the, the boys and the girls reached the proper age exactly at the same time. Then our Mishnah said that if they, if the, they did wife swapping, and then they recognized who their wives were after that happened. They can't go back and live with their wives until three months because we've got to identify if they become pregnant, who is the correct father. But a woman will not get pregnant with the first Bia. So why are we worried about their pregnancy. They repeated the Biyah. If they repeated the Biyah, so they have, they have to bring 32 Chatos, not 16. Rabbi Yezer says, every thrusting of a Biyah gives you another Chatos. You can have hundreds of Chatos. He's only calculating the first, the first thrust. They're only calculating the first How could you tell me that they don't, they can't become pregnant with the first bia? The hatam iabra. Um, Tamar, who was married to Er and Onan, and then Yehuda eventually, uh, uh, Yehuda thought she was a Zona and, and had relations with her, and she was still a Basula. So when Yehuda had relations with her, it's her first B, and yet it says she got pregnant right away. And, and Rashi tells us that when she lived with Er Vaoin and her husbands, they only did bia uh, shaloikadarka, not vaginal bia, but uh, anal bia, which is shaloikadarka. So she was technically a, a basula. And therefore, it's a proof that you can get pregnant from the first bia. Amar lei tamar be'edzba mocha. 
she um, removed before the bia. She made her opening bigger with with um, uh, her finger, and that's why in her case she was able to get pregnant. I guess they had in implements that would do this, that would remove their basulim with their finger. They would call them tomar. They were her husband, so she obviously wasn't a, a basula. So here the Gemara says, Erva Oinen Shimshu Shalokadarkon. They had Bia Shalokadarkon. They did not want her to get pregnant because they did not want to destroy her beauty, the Gemara will say. So she was still a Psula. So called Estrim Va'arba Chodesh. 24 months that a infant is nursing. Dosh me Bifnim the Zarba Chodesh. A husband is allowed to have relations, but the flu he pulls out and let the fluid come outside so that the woman doesn't become pregnant. Because if she becomes pregnant, her milk will stop and the nursing child could die. Divir Rabbi Yezer. Omru lo halalu, How can you allow this? This is what Erev did and they were killed. And this is a proof, it seems, that Erva Oynan also had relations with her Kedarka. It, just that they didn't finish the Bia and they, they, they spilled their seed outside. So the Gemara says, Kim I say Erva Oynan, the low Kim I say Erva In some ways it was like Erva Oynan, in some ways it was not. Kim I say Erva Oynan, the Chsiv, the Haya in Bo Elechis Achiv, the that if somebody comes to have relations with, to do yibo to his brother's wife, but spills the seed. So that's like the mice of air. They had relations shalokadarka. So they did both things. They did be shalokadarka and they spilled their seed. Now, Bishlama Oinen. The Chsiv Bey Vishiche Sartsa. So fine, by, the, the Posuk says for, directly that he spilled the seed. Aval Er Minolan. How did that Er also be, had be a Shalokidarka? On of Dechem Bar Yitzchak. The Chsiv Ayames Gamoso. Af Hu Baosa Mises Mes. He was killed in the same, for the same reason. So Bishlama Oinain Mishum Lolo Yazara. So he didn't want to have the name of the of his brother. That's why he spilled his seed. Ella Er my time of it. The, the, the Torah doesn't explain why Er spilled his seed. Because Tomer was beautiful. He didn't want her to get pregnant in Runer Beauty. It says, when a man and a woman have relations, for they have to go together to the mikvah. They become tome through the bia. Osa prat de ravida. A regular wife, but not a not the kal, not the first time. The first time they have relations, she doesn't become tome during the first uh, the need mikvah. Because of the, there's no tumma for the bias rishona. Chachamim prat lebias shelo kedarka. They say no, even a kala would become tamei with the bias rishona. But you know what the exclusion is by oisa, that bias shelo kedarka doesn't create tumma. Ormelei honbrei rav nach rav nach when lema kasovar. Is the Torah concerned that her makeup that she put on, that 
that if she would go to the mikvah, it would ruin that, and that's why they pottered her? No, says the Gemara. It's like what we said before. Anisha cannot become pregnant with the first Bia. And any Bia where you can't become pregnant, you, there's no Tumma. By the way, the halacha is, first of all, it's pro prohibited to, you know, ha uh, have relations and come out, that's Osir. It's mostly Zerl Vatola and it's an oven godel, says the Rabbi. Then Habal Isha Shalok Kedarka, if someone has non vaginal relations, Harehi Tahora, she doesn't become Tomei like you normally would become Tomei. Shalotime Osar Kosu Betumas Besa Storm Ella Vikedarka. The only time through uh, that the, uh, having care, having Sheikh Vazera in her hidden place, it's only if it's in the vaginal hidden place, not in the. I want to read the Rishonim here. Din zesh betoyra she ish vi ish chayovin betfila lachar bia. The fact that men and women need mikveh after they have relations is biro oso shu gzer miuchedes shalakosu special gzer zakosu. The alpha pisha sheikh vazer metame b'maga. If you touch. Sheikh Vazera, you become Tomei, Miko Mokom, Kivin Sheikh Vazera no Gasper based on story. This Sheikh Vazera is touching an inside place. Normal halacha, principles of Tumma, you would not become Tomei if, if something Tomei touches a, a person in a hidden place. However, it's only Chal. When it's a bia gemura that's ruuya lohelada, but bia shein kedarka does not cause tumma. Now the gemara said that in isha's that is, is uh, it does not become pregnant with the bia isha. But my kamiflugi, rabbanon sorry sheikh vazera prat lahaara. That a person just places. The tip of his male organ in doesn't do a full thrust. It's not a complete bia. And there's no it's zero. So there, that would not create tumma. So Shikhvazera excludes Ha'ara. And Osa excludes Prachalokidarka if they have anal relations. Rabbi Yudha Savar, Shalokidarka Vara, Mishikhvazera Nafka. You can learn both of those from the Mir Sheikh Vazera. Because it's not neither Ha'ara, where you just place it on the inside, where you don't do no thrusting. And anal, it does not going to lead to children. And therefore, Osa is Pratla Kala. They use the Osa to exclude a Kala, that a Kala's first beat does not create tumor. Person lived with her husband for 10 years without relations. And then she gets married again. This is a biology. She can't give birth. That's if she didn't have in mind to get remarried. If she has in mind, she could get pregnant. The Rabbis told Rav Chizda, you know, the, the Rabbonim are talking about you because, because you became a widow until you got married again for more than 10 years and she gave birth. So maybe she had relations in between. So Amrulay Ana Datay Allah Khabi. I was also thinking about getting married in between. Hahida Asil Kamed Rav Yosef. It was a woman that appeared in front of Rav Yosef. Amrulay Rabbi Ani Shaiti Achar Bali Asar Shalim Velarati. I refrained from Tashmish for 10 years, yet I gave birth. Amrulay Biti Altot Silaza Devi Chachamim. Don't say Loshon Har about Divrei Torv Chachamim. 
because she was trying to contradict what they said. And she admitted, and in, in the middle, I had relations with a, with a goy, so she was thinking about it. Omar Shmuel. Kulan Sri Choslahamtin Shlosha Kadoshim. Every marriage where there's relations, they have to wait three months. Chutz Migiyores Umushukreres Ktana. A convert, a young convert under 12, or Shivcha that was freed under 12. Well, under 12, you can't get pregnant. So therefore, there's no reason. They can have Bia, but they can't get pregnant. And therefore, there, you, don't, you can get married right away. But a Bas Yisrael Ktana needs to wait three months. Why? Uvamai. Now, what do, what, what do you mean? How did she get out of her first marriage? Ibn Miyun, right? If, the, if her mother or brothers married her off and she can get out of a marriage with Miyun, in that case, she doesn't have to wait three months. The din about get, he already gave us the halacha that you have to wait three months. So how did she get pregnant? It wasn't me, it wasn't get. So we're talking about here, business. This Bask Tana Yisrael was Mazane. The God's Rabban Ketana Mishum Gedoyla. We'll read the, we'll go into why the Chachamin Xera tomorrow. Shkaya. Shkaya. So tomorrow we're going to learn the Daf at 7 30. And we're going to do the, uh, the Tsurba. We're going to continue. Uh, it's also dinim of 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 uh, minyan um, at eight o'clock. Okay. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night.